back to the channel. Today I'm going to start on the second part of the demolition of my existing sim. So as you can see we're back here in the back bedroom which is looking suspiciously empty I have to say apart from the very large structure behind me. So the goal today is to try and uh, disassemble all of this if we can although it's quite a big job. I'm going to start by taking down the projectors that you can see there and there and the gantry that supports them and then I'm going to get into the actual screen structure, take off the screen surface and um, break down the, the structure behind it into its component parts. That is as far as I'm going to go for this part of the project. Um, at some point I will need to disassemble part of that structure so that I can replicate it to build uh, some additional screen but uh, up until this point all I really need to do is to get it all cleared down and get uh, all the bits and pieces in a corner so that I can then start to work on the rest of the space. So as before we're going to time lapse this activity and it'll probably take place over several hours uh, otherwise without further ado I'll get on with it uh, and uh, you can watch the time lapse. Right, that's both projector mounts uh, disassembled and removed, so now we'll deal with the cabling up here and then we can look to remove these metal bars. Uh, by the way, in case you're thinking he's cutting cables, well I am, um, but they're not live, don't worry. Sorry, I hit a cable connected to the camera uh, with that cable that I threw, so bear with me a second. Still, they're actually quite heavy. They don't look it, but trust me, they are. So, I'm going to loosen them up at one end and then loosen them at the other. Hopefully, they won't fall off because if they hit me on the way down, they're going to hurt. One end, they don't appear to be moving too much, so, fingers crossed for a controlled demolition. This side, just in case anything falls down. Yeah, I thought they might do that. Oh, luckily I caught it. That's a bit more control. Okay. Uh. These really need to be stored outside the room, so I'm going to go and do that now. Okay, that is the metal part of the gantry down. Uh, now I'm going to take off the speakers, then I can remove the end pieces for the gantry and uh, then we're down to just the screen structure. Ok, 
Okay, so that is um, about half of the structure dismantled. The gantry's gone completely. And the next thing will be to strip the screen surface off the frame. Uh, and then we can actually start dismantling the frame, removing cables, etc., etc., which is part two that is going to happen after lunch. So um, it's probably going to be a bit darker. So, you know, so uh, I will continue after lunch. Right, we're back. Next job is to remove the screen surface and that will let's get at the underlying frame and start to dismantle it. So uh, let's get on with that. the screen surface off and I've also pulled out all the nails that we use to attach it so you can see the underlying frame structure here um, it's made in three segments each of 60 degrees of arc um, so we've got one two three and then uh, they're braced by um, vertical um, I what the right word is supports truss whatever you want to call it um, which helps keep everything straight. And then it's all brought together with steel uh, corner brackets, which help keep the whole structure rigid. And we just bolt um, what screw each of the sections together uh, and added some uh, leg structures to it. So the next step is to actually take this whole thing apart into its component pieces. Um, and before I can do that, I need to clear out some wiring and everything else that's down here, so I'm going to get on with that now. for today so the whole structure has come down and it's all piled up around the room and the next thing I need to do is to dispose of the stuff I'm disposing of the screen surface other bits and pieces generally go around tidy up pick up and make the room ready for the next step which is going to be uh, starting to work on the floor so um, the next video you see will likely be about stripping back the floor and having a look at what's underneath it I'm aware that the aviation content is getting pretty tenuous at this point, so don't worry. Look out for some flight stuff in the temporary sim, probably coming before that video. Um, but uh, if you do want to have a look at the, the demo and uh, repairs in this room and see what's going on with the floor, that will be coming up uh, in the next sort of construction video. And then I'm going to soon start to introduce some vlog style videos about the redesign of the new sim. So. 
basically I need to learn how to do um, 3D CAD, which um, is not the easiest thing in the world to do, so maybe SketchUp, maybe something like that. Get myself confident enough that I can model the room, uh, model the putative bits of sim and move it all around and see what it looks like. Um, so those will be three kind of different streams of content over the next weeks and months. Keep an eye out for all those things, but you should see um, some more content pretty soon. And uh, in the meantime, thank you for watching this video. And as always, if you liked, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Uh, all feedback is gratefully received. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, I would welcome that, but I do recommend that you hit the little bell icon for uh, notifications when I publish content because the schedule can be a bit irregular, although hopefully a bit more regular now. And uh, all that remains to say is thank you for watching and I'll see you back on the channel very soon.